Hello. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, please, sir. Yeah, how are you? Yes, I'm doing good, yes, sir. Okay, so now we discuss our topic. Okay, so uh, where are you from? Okay, I think you already joined my online program, yeah? Yes, please, I'm from Ghana. Okay, okay, okay. So now, okay. So basically, uh, who, uh, who join my online training program for one time, they can get the free support all the time. So that's why you can also get the free teaching support in this time. Okay. So in this time, you can simply talk me about your uh, problem, what you face. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So the problem I was facing was um, after the um, learning is long cover classification, I, the Land surface temperature classification. I wanted to create. Can I share my screen? Yeah, yeah. Can you share your screen? Then it's better. Sure. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So please, after the um land use land, uh, uh, the land surface temperature creation, I've created everything uh, following the tutorials you give us. So, I was trying to generate the lands uh, the time series chart of the. Okay. Uh, the Understand. Land, land okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So okay. So in this time, uh, for the time series chart, okay, can you send me the code link with your uh, asset? It also better. Okay. So click on the get link button. Get link button and send uh -huh. me a link. Yes, copy and send me that. Then I try to show you that how we can easily create the time series chart for LST. Okay. Okay, send me in the Google Meet chat box. It's a better, yeah. Send me the Google Meet chat box. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, sure. And I can easily access from my laptop and then open it. Okay. Second number tab, yeah. So, we online class. Chats, chats, books. Okay, so you can get the in the right corner. Okay, so yeah, sure, right, yeah, sure. chat, yeah. Do you have a phone? Okay, got it. Okay, so let me open my screen. Okay. Okay, so now I can stop your sharing screen. I will just try to open my screen and show you that process. How we can easily make the LST time series chart. Okay, so let's go. So now can you see my screen? Okay, it loaded. Okay, okay. Then this time, okay, you did not share the, your asset. So for these things, okay, I just simply take a random asset and try to show you that. Okay, okay. So I simply remove okay. these things and I import my shape file. Suppose Dhaka City. You can easily okay. use this code for other region also, no problem. I simply import my Dhaka City boundary and sure. further I put the name as the ry, ry. Sure. Okay, so you can write the code. Okay, so then uh, 2020 to 2022, and further you want to uh, map dot add layer about these things. Okay, done. Okay, good. And further you are just applying all of those things. Yes, okay, so mainly you just try to make the code for LST visualization. Okay, 
So now in this time, yeah. we are just make the time series chart and observe what's the temporal condition of land surface temperature between this time period, year of 2020 to 2020, this time period. Okay. So yes, for this yes, thing, yes. first of all, we need to create a band. Okay. In this time here, you can see okay. when I print this, I can get only for this 12 band. You can see it created B1, B2, uh, B3, these type of things. But there is no band about LST. There is no band. So first of all, okay. you need to create the band of LST. Then use this band and we can easily make the time series chart. So let's go how we can easily create this band. Okay, first of all, okay. Okay, I try to visualize the LST. Why it not showing here? Why? Let me check. So fill E, misplaced filler bounds, filler dead, median. Okay, suppose I take the less than 1% cloud cover image, create the median, and then I simply display this image. Okay, just I simply remove that. And then suppose map the center object, I put the RY, shape file, and now click again. It's visualized here. Yeah. Okay, so this is the study area. And further, okay. Okay, let's show this. Do that layer, and we also make the LST. All of those things we can generate in here. Fractional. Okay. So in this time, I generate the mainly we generate about the band. Okay. So okay. for doing these things, it's very easy. Uh, just we write a variable. Suppose I just write a variable. Uh, uh, R. I put the variable name. Suppose add LST and put a function keyword. Function keyword and put the element name. Uh, image. I M Z image. And further in this curly bracket, I just put my argument. Okay. So in this time, my okay. argument is that. I calculate all of those things, mainly calculate the uh, NDVI, then thermal band, fractional vegetation, emissivity, and LST. Include all of those things between this curly bracket and add it. Okay, so for doing these things, we just simply copy the code from here. Suppose I just simply copy from NDVI, just copy the same code, all of those things simply okay. copy copy also copy from here and also lst okay and uh, finally okay just i simply copy from here okay just simply copy okay and these things i simply paste in my curly bracket so here you can see i already make this curly bracket okay just paste here so in this time what can i do in this time using the element so mainly my element is that image okay so using this email, okay. email, I do all of those things. So I simply put here that IMZ emails. And it's not needed in this time because I create the band. I don't visualize. So I remove it. It also not need. Uh, it also not need. I simply remove these things. Okay. They're not it. So further, I simply go to the below. Here you can see thermal. And in this time, I simply change it. I put the IMZ, my element name. Okay. And then further, I did not uh, show the layer of the thermal. Simply remove it. It's not need. Remove. And in this time, I also calculated the mean and max of NDVI. It also okay, no problem because I need the mean and max value for calculating the fractional vegetation. So further, I simply calculated the mean, okay, as well as also calculated the max, okay, as well as in this time we can see ROI, okay, study area. I need to define the study area between this curly bracket. In this time, you can see this curly bracket. I need to define the ROI, my study area. So just take a variable, suppose ROI, and I simply define a study area. Suppose mainly it's my this ROI. I simply click on here. Okay, in this time I just simply copy. Or if you want, you can simply just click on the three dot button. You can see just click on here, and you can get this type of things. I simply copy from here this line. Okay, simply copy from here. 
because this is my ry this is my study area you just okay. simply um, go to the below and paste here okay so this is my ry i also define it okay it's done okay ndvi done thermal ndvi done uh, mean max it also done print dot net remove the print value then max max not i simply i don't need to print so simply remove that but the fractional vegetation calculate fb don't need to add the print and map dot at layer in the band remove that then emissivity emissivity we are just calculate the emissivity don't need to add the layer about the emissivity for that remove that further uh, in this time lst lst we just make the lst and i put the lst success i put the name suppose only for the short name i simply put suppose uh lst okay after doing these things you can simply write a function return return this okay. emails IMC return this image at bands at bands this variable LST simply copy and paste here so now this is the code from here start and go to from here suppose this curly bracket between this curly bracket uh, it's generate the band about the LST band so now how I can get the band this band you need to connect with your image collection so mainly here you can see this is our image collection okay so this is our image collection we got this collection in here yeah so this is your image collection you can see it's my image collection so in this time i just simply add a function add i simply map function and call the function variable Okay, you can see function variable name mainly where I store it at LST. You can see it's my function variable. Simply copy and connect in here. So just simply go to the below. And here I can get these things. Here you can see. Simply paste here. After the collection. Paste here. So now in this time you can see I simply print this collection and check what happened about this collection. So for these things I just simply uh, okay just a simply side note about that it's a uh, new okay. now click the run in this time you can see it generate a new band okay this band called the LST band we generate in this time you can see I can get the total 13 bands okay click on here and also click on here you can see one band is generated called the lst okay okay so now we can okay. easily generate the lst uh time series chart between this time period so let's go we just make the time series chart so for doing these things i simply copy from here this line this line i simply copy because in this time uh, we are also at the visualization also okay and time series. so just i simply create the another i paste here i put the col suppose time okay so now i just simply make the time series chart using this variable okay this is my image collection so for that i just simply use the function ui dot chart dot image dot series and put all of this argument first of all i just make a dictionary curly bracket start and also curly bracket okay. And further, just Okay, so in this time, okay, I think in this time it's better to use. In this time, okay, so in this time it's a function. Basically, this function uh, it generate the band. Okay, so basically, which band we calculate in here, it generate the same band. Okay, and from here we can easily make the time series chart also. Okay, so in this time I think it also better. But if you want, you can also use the create this function. Suppose in this time I simply copy this same code from here. 
copy the same code and then simply paste here and remove all of those things and here you can see i just simply put this name as a geometry geometry okay okay If I remove this previous one geometry, you will now click run. So now. So now it's okay you can see in this time uh in this time here you can see uh this line mainly this line it creates the band of lst okay so basically they are create a module or they are create a function so in this time uh, any region any region when you want to make the time series chart just simply copy the same code copy the same code and then put your import your study area as a geometry or any just put rename it as a geometry then it easily make the time series chart okay as well as in, the, in this time it also added the layer you can see so mainly we are also calculated the average uh at the layer about the lst okay if you want you can also add here the suppose mainly your visualization so simply click on here and custom suppose 98 percent and further you can also add the color plated from you can see plated button simply click on here simply click on here you can see mainly suppose i have to show this color for low lst then i show this color for and also show suppose uh, this color and also show suppose <coughs> this color suppose high lst I show this color red color okay and further apply so now it also added these things this color added in here okay further simply just import and then from here simply copy this visualization parameter and paste after the object name so this is my object i simply paste here and also put this layer name suppose uh dhaka city lst so now click the run so now we can see it visualize the lst map of dhaka city as well as also visualize about that time series chart you can see okay and when you change this time period simply you can see you can simply put your time period on time period you can easily get this result okay just simply change it this time period okay so this is the one way i have to send you this code link okay. as well as i am trying to find out the solution about that uh, for the previous code suppose okay, sir um in this code what's the problem for our chart so this is the one solution for creating this time series okay. chart so is it for only um lst or any other chromatic it's analysis can you only use? lst okay suppose yeah this oh. function create only for the lst uh monitoring oh. because you can see lst for the lst you have to write need lot of code okay so for doing these oh. things they are make the all of the code and store it in a module they create a module so when, when oh, anyone okay. use this module they can easily get the lst as well as they can easily create the time series chart of the lst so it's oh. very useful for um in can very short time you can easily create the lst map as for any region and also create this uh time series chart of the lst okay 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 Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, so you'll try it, and I hope you can do it using this second number of code line. Okay. 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 Sir. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye.